Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. And this week's video is gonna be a life in Arizona update. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the Sunshine Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber or supporter, welcome back. Um, thank you for still rocking with me, especially since I had not posted in like two months. I've been gone. And I know like, yes, I did Vlogmas and I did like two videos and I like got it like not um uploading but honestly i i kind of have an explanation of why i wasn't uploading but i don't want to get too much into it i just want to get into this life update of living in arizona because while i was gone it made one year since i was li been living in arizona so i'm gonna gonna talk about some things i have like some talking points um to talk about so basically how do I like the weather? I survived my first uh, summer in Arizona. It wasn't that bad, I would say. I know a lot of people kept, I kept hearing about monsoon, about that supposed to happen, about the triple digits or extreme and stuff. Like it was hot, but I feel like it was like bearable. I feel like, um, when I was back in Cali, I lived in the IE, which is the Inland Empire, so it's like Moreno Valley, San Bernardino, Riverside, just the major kind of cities that mainly people know. Um, basically, it would get triple digits, so I feel like it kind of helped mentally prepare me for the heat. Yes, the heat, it do get hot. Um, I'm burning up right now with this studio light on. So, just imagine having a studio light on all day uh yeah there you go and having the studio light on plus the heater yeah i think that's the way i can kind of describe the heat out here in az so yeah it's it's pretty warm um pretty warm but like i said if you live in a hot climate and you come from like like let's say you live in the south and you decide okay i want to move to az like i feel like it yes it is a different type of heat but i feel like you'll adjust quicker opposed to someone who maybe came from the cold where there's no heat like this and then came here and they might be it might take them a minute to get they may be hot like feeling like they're on fire all the time like i don't feel like that because like i said i lived in the desert in california then transition and it was like yes it's hot but i feel like i adjusted quicker if that makes sense okay people are probably wondering do i still like it out here um i'm just like any other place you have your ups you have your downs some days i do like az some days i'm like mm. <laughs> i want to move i don't know i don't know what it is and I think what makes me feel like that is, I think in the last video, the one I did when I was like a four month update, I'll be sure to link it in the cards above. I had mentioned about like the cost of living um, there. I think that's probably what makes me wanna move is it's not as cheap as like people think. Um, like I said before, there are, it just depends on what part of Arizona you live in and the, um, since we've moved here, like rent has went up. So we just ended up staying um, at the place we originally came to when we first moved here. Because of the place that we're in right now, we kind of just got it quickly just so we can get out of our place in Cali because our landlord was selling his place. So we needed somewhere to stay. So we just kind of quickly just came here, found this and it was quick for us. And then we were planning on moving anyway, like after like a year, we were supposed, we were planning on to move to maybe somewhere, a space that's much bigger for all three of us. We didn't end up doing that. So we're gonna probably, probably do that maybe next year, try to find somewhere bigger um, to stay for all of us. Um, but so far we still live in the same place. Um, so yeah, I would just say what makes me not like it is probably most so the cost of living um, because it's not as cheap. It's like some of the prices kind of remind you of Cali. Like it just, just depends. It depends on what the place is. You're like, whoa, uh, did I move to California or did I move to Arizona? It kind of makes you think that um, as far as when it comes to cost of living when it comes to like going to the store or like going to like retail sometimes some of the stuff is 
more affordable. I find myself buying more makeup. I know that's random or like being able to like purchase more items and I've noticed like kind of the shipping seems like it's not as high. I know that's probably a weird thing to notice, but it's like sometimes they low key tax you based off on your based off your state you live in if you ever pay attention. So when it comes to like the lifestyle part of Arizona, I feel like I like it, but I feel like when it comes to the cost of living, it just makes me feel like, okay, I can go somewhere else and pay a little less and still be in a nice area. You know what I mean? So it just makes you kind of weigh out your options. It's like, yes, the good thing about Arizona is like it's easier as far as like the work. It is easier to find a job, at least for me it is. Um, I don't know about anybody else. My, keep in mind, this is my experience. So yeah, housework. Speaking of work, let's touch on that topic. So I am still in the same building that I was at. I just transferred to the other side. Um, so I now, I got promoted to a different position. So I'm making a little bit more money. Um, so yeah, I did that like last November, um, around the time I was doing Vlogmas. Actually, around the time I was doing Vlogmas, I was in that position. I don't know if I mentioned it in Vlogmas. Don't quote me. So, yeah, don't quote me. <laughs> but I did mention it now. So, yeah, I do work in another position right now. And I'm in the process of changing my schedule. So, hopefully, by me changing my schedule, I can possibly film a little bit more. That means I won't be sleeping because right now I'm working nights. So, that could put a factor. Let me tell you that. It's probably why I'm not filming because it seems like when I'm off, I'm sleeping. And then when I'm not off, I'm working. So, yeah. It just, I mean, when I am working, whatever I just said. Okay. Seven minutes in, so we're still good on time because you know, y'all know if y'all been subscribing, rocking with my channel for a long time, y'all know I can ramble. So let me go touch a little bit on dating. So um, I was talking to this one guy and yeah, I think I ghosted him after a while because I was kind of mad at what he said. So <laughs> dating is still like iffy right now. Honestly, I feel like when I stop trying, that's when it's gonna actually I'll probably actually meet somebody when I actually just not care. <laughs> That's usually how things happen when you stop. Just, I know this is random, but yo, I was looking for this mascara, like right here. It's tripping. I'm looking at the like viewfinder on here. But yeah, I was looking for this mascara. Sky high mascara. Y'all know this mascara was sold out. I stopped looking for it. Guess what? I found it. So that's how dating's gonna be. When you like not looking for no one, when you're not like on the app or like trying to talk to me, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna fall into place. So that's how I'm gonna say, I'm gonna touch on that like that, like that, like there. <laughs> so yeah, no, not caring about that right now. I need to focus on myself anyway. And I feel like when I focus on myself a little bit more, then it will fall into place. Like I said, it'll fall into, it'll fall in together. Um, people probably wonder, do I plan to stay in Arizona? I said that in the last video, I don't plan to stay. Um, so far, yes, I still feel the same. Um, I feel like, like I said, the cost of living is making me not want to stay. I know it could be like that in other states, but I've been looking at other states and it's still cheaper <laughs> it is a little cheaper i ain't gonna lie and then people probably wonder will i ever go back to cali i think someone did ask me that can't remember like someone like asked me over the internet but i think like someone asked me that in person like would i ever go back to cali um it depends it honestly depends um it really depends like there's so many scenarios i can go through of why i would move back and then there's some scenarios that i mean there's a scenario in my head that makes sense to me but somebody else it might not make sense like i feel like i would go back to cali for like job opportunities like if i were to i don't know 
like it would just most like it'll probably either be a job opportunity for either myself or like if I'm with someone at that time maybe they got a great job opportunity and whatever I'm doing maybe if I'm working from home or whatever it is I'm doing maybe it's easier for me to trans I can probably possibly transition my job it just depends um if I go back to Cali it's kind of one of those up in the air it's kind of I would have to I would know it if I was in that situation, but I'm not in that situation to know right now. It's kind of up in the air. So hopefully you all enjoyed my life update in gear in Arizona. If you have any more questions um, about my experience in Arizona, maybe I didn't touch on topics that maybe you thought I would have touched on, um, be sure to leave the, the leave your comments or thoughts or questions down below in the comment section or you can easily reach out to me on my Instagram and send me a DM if you feel it. My Instagram is always at the end, always in the description box. That is what I go on the most, so just say it's up. Yeah, and also I'll probably put my um, makeup Instagram, just saying, because I'm really feeling this look, just so you guys can be able to look at that because I try to keep it separate, okay? All right, I'm done talking for real this time. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Toodles to my Sunshine Squad.